Hey guys, Rock here. It's uh, in Vermont. It's October 8th right now. Uh, today I got a 2008 K&M Renegade 800. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little quick walk around then we'll take this thing for a test drive. Um, this thing's actually in really nice shape for an 08. Um, yeah, bumper's got a couple of bruises but the plastics are like mint on this thing. <clears throat> it's actually still got the original um, hole shot tires. It's uh, pretty much all stock other than that rear, I mean the winch. And uh, somebody painted the front bumper and they added this rear rack. This does not come with this machine stock, which is kind of nice because it gives you a little little spot to put some, uh, you know, whatever you want to bring with you. And somebody added a receiver hitch on this. <clears throat> I don't believe that's stock on these Renegades. These are pretty much sport machines, but um, but they can be used for somewhat utility but, uh, nice HPG shocks yeah just a uh, pretty nice machine you got a plain plain Jane uh, LCD unit but uh, it works full -wheel drive switch gear selector switch anyways let's hop on this thing and try it out all right we'll hop on this Everything feels nice, uh, a little bit wide. Um, so if I'm comparing this to a Polaris Scrambler, it's a little wider in the center, um, but uh, the seat is actually nice and firm. I mean, it's cushy, but it's got enough firmness where you can stay on top of it and uh, move around. So uh, turn the key on, start button right here. It's got a great sound to it. Um, it's an 800 V twin, but uh, these things uh, get kind of a tuned exhaust, so they do sound quite nice. Uh, one thing I noticed with pretty much all of these Can-Ams of these genera uh, this generation, 08, uh, I don't know, the newer ones are better, but sometimes it's hard to get them in gear. You just gotta rock them back and forth a little bit. It's nothing wrong with the machine. It's literally all these Can-Ams. Sometimes you don't have to, um, sometimes you do. But, so high range. We'll take it easy for a few minutes. This thing's still kind of cold, but uh, yeah, definitely a sporty feel to this thing. Fenders are nice and low. You know, it's you feel like you're on a sport machine, not a four-wheel drive. But uh, yeah, this has got nice engine braking. And it's got a lot of power. Like I said, we're gonna take it a little easy right here until it warms up. And then uh, we'll do a few tests. At the very end, I got a, uh, I got a, we'll take, take it up the dirt road and do a top speed test. thing I've noticed on this thing is the uh, it's it's a little low I mean it's got decent clearance if you're comparing it to a sport quad but if you're comparing it to most of the newer like uh, utility machines or sport utility machines the ground clearance is is kind of low because I've been I drove this a little bit <laughs> right there I just hit bottom on that um, the shocks can go up a little bit, but uh, I don't know. But yeah. Great power out of this little thing. And it's very planted. This is a very fun trail machine. Test out the four wheel drive right here. Of course, they're going to use low range four wheel drive. See how she does crawling. You know, it's it's very snappy. It's uh, it's great because it's got good power. Wow, a 
the four wheel drive actually worked really nice. Kicked right in. It does have new fluids up front, which help. But, uh, but yeah, um, but like I was saying, when you're in a low range, this thing is snappy. Um, especially if you're not used to it. If you're used to it, you can feather the throttle. You kind of know where to go. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, so we're in four wheel drive, low range, and uh, you know this is not a power steering unit. Um, it's got the normal steering, and uh, it's really not that heavy. I don't know if it's any different than two wheel drive is a little lighter, but um, but as far as the uh, in four wheel drive, it's really not that bad, which is kind of nice. Throw her in high range. Bring her out to the trail here. really absorb the bumps really nice now there is a better model than this thing the uh, the Renegade X XC which has I think they're still HPG shocks but they're fully adjustable so uh, that would be a, the next model up, and that, that model has power steering also. But. All right, so we're gonna come up on a rock pile here. And, uh, oh, yeah. Good thing uh, somebody did install a full, full uh, aluminum skid plate on this, so that helps for sure. But, um, but yeah, if you're taking this off off trail where you got a lot of uh, a lot of rocks and ground clearance issues, um, you might want to consider putting a lift kit in this or bigger tires. I think these probably come with 26s. Definitely got the power to handle more than that. So right here, I, I know we're gonna hit bottom. I'm gonna try to straddle this a little. Nope. <laughs> That's another thing with these, uh, they're not wicked nice looking plastics, but you get kind of uh, a lot of mud on them. Um, uh, no, just too low, I guess. Have to help her out of there. Yeah. I would definitely put a set of bigger tires on this for sure. Yeah, if you're sticking to the trail, not a big deal. The tires work quite well actually for uh, high speed trails. But when you get off the trail, at all, the, uh, they don't work great in the mud. I do love the sound of these motors and the power. I mean, they, they got great power. I'm not sure the top speed of this thing. Sure, it'll get into the 70s. Since uh, I've seen a lot bigger machines, the Can-Ams, like the Max, for instance, I think the 650 getting to, got to 70 or around there. Which most of the time you'll never, never actually go that fast, but some people do. Yeah, 
yeah boy the seat is just firm enough where you don't sink into it and uh but it's i don't know it's really nice actually and the engine braking is just it's almost too aggressive i mean i i like i like the engine braking but i know some people say it's too aggressive not me but because i mean look at this it almost pushes me <laughs> forward because it's such a heavy engine braking but uh, works great for this kind of stuff the normal brakes on this which I don't think I've even used front brake right here you get a separate controller for your front and then on the left a separate controller for your rear also on the foot uh, your floorboard you have a separate controller for your rear so this is really made to drive it aggressive as in like the Outlanders, your your one brake controller controls all four. This one you can actually pick and choose. So, all right, I'll drive a little, get on a little quicker pace. There is no problem sliding that rear end around on this unit. twins they got when you get up into speed I'd say probably over 30 you got kind of a drive line whine I'm not sure if it's the clutches or the transmission or the rear ends I'm really not sure but all these machines do it um, it's not it's not a bad thing it's just kind of uh, annoying I guess at some point but all right two-wheel drive we're gonna do kind of acceleration and top speed run so yeah two-wheel drive high range and we'll see what she does told me 71 I'm not sure if it went any faster than that or slower I would guess faster unless they gear these renegades a little lower than the uh, outlanders but uh, because like I said the outlanders can do that but definitely gets there quick it's got plenty of snap off the line very fun trail machine very fun nice aggressive looking Your headlights uh, of course you're not going to see them much right now but uh, headlights are nice and bright and uh, it's uh, just a good machine so what do we get actually for the tires they're 25 so yeah or 205s same thing but you could definitely put on a bigger set still have plenty of power but uh, yeah anyways well thanks for watching um, I got plenty of other videos on there uh, me testing out some machines and uh, this thing is for sale if anybody's interested. But uh, 1,500 miles. <laughs> I'm not sure on the price yet. Probably going to be around four, I'm guessing. But uh, all right, thanks again.